Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a long time uh, since I decided to make a video. And if you hear my dogs barking, it's because they're in here. It's 100 degrees outside and I didn't want to put them outside. So they'll be walking around, maybe barking. So just try and deal with it. Because uh, if I have to, you have to. Um, and just because I have a lot to show today, I'm not gonna edit this. So I'm just gonna kinda just breeze through everything. If I mess up or if I stumble, we're just gonna deal with it. So uh, I've I've been gone for like four months off of YouTube. Um, and I've been barely keeping up with my social media accounts. Uh, I graduated from grad school, so that's exciting. So a lot of this stuff with, were uh, treats for me within the last month. Um, mostly Funkos, but there's some dolls in here too. Um, but yeah, so um, the collection update is like from March up until now. Um, there's a couple of things I'm expecting, but uh, I didn't want to wait. <laughs> so just because if I keep doing that, then I'm going to keep putting this off. And I just want to go ahead and update you guys. Um, I just want to say that um, the Snow White uh, designer doll... Um, Ultimate Collection Designer Doll. Um, we'll be getting her own review. Um, I have two in this video that I'm not gonna review just because I don't really have a lot to say about them. I, I love them, but I just don't have a lot to talk about. Um, but Snow White, I have a lot to say, so I'm gonna be doing my own review on her, so be on the lookout for that. So without further ado, we're just gonna get through this as quickly as possible. I have a lot of Funkos. And I don't think this is all of them, but these are the main ones I want to show you guys. So first off, um, and I don't know when any of this stuff released. So just know I bought it within the last few months. So first of all, um, Funko um, has been doing their Disney Princess exclusives um, with like the gold shiny outfit, um, which I do have all of them but one. Um, and I, then the last few months I was able to get Rapunzel so I do have Rapunzel here in her like shiny gold outfit um, which is amazing uh, most of these are older sculpts with just a new paint job um, which a lot of people didn't like but like I don't mind it like I'm a collector at heart so if you're gonna put it out I'm probably gonna buy it um, so as you can see we have Punzi here sorry about the lighting everyone but I'm an inbox collector, so we're just gonna deal with it. But you can see she has her like metallic dress on, her hair is in a braid, um, and it comes with a pin. And uh, Funko has like this pin book where all the princesses come with a pin and you can take it out and display them in that little book. I'm not doing that just because I'm not unboxing, so there's no reason for me to, to own the book. But so yeah, I have Rapunzel here. And then in that same vein, my favorite princess, my favorite Disney character, my favorite everything, um, Pocahontas got one as well. So here is hers and she is so beautiful. I have four of this one, five. No, I have five of this one. I have a problem. But uh, so yeah, this is what she looks like. She is the same pose as the Funko exclusive that came out like six months ago, um, which is my favorite pop ever. So once I saw they were using the same pose here, um, I was sold. Um, but you can see the leaves are all sparkly and glowing in her, not glowing, glittering. <laughs> and her dress is very um, metallic. And she does come with a pin as well. So we have Pocahontas here. And in that same vein, Hot Topic, uh, is doing diamond exclusives for the Disney princesses as well. And about a month ago, they released, you guessed it, Pocahontas. <laughs> so um, I have a couple of her. Um, I have this one and one in box, or out of box, excuse me. Um, and it's just the, you know, the basic princess one that released last year, but it's the diamond edition. So it sparkles um, and it's really beautiful. Um, so yeah, I love this pop very much. <laughs> and then uh, I finally treated myself. I've been wearing this pop forever and I have no idea why I didn't just buy it years ago. 
and I just needed it for my Little Mermaid collection. So I just have the basic pink Ariel Funko um, just to round out my Little Mermaid collection because I have a lot of Ariel Pops, um, but not in her pink dress. So I just decided to pick it up. She is really cute. I'm a big fan of Ariel and her pink dress, so I'm really happy to have this. And then uh, most of these coming up are Jurassic Park themed. So I kind of went through Jurassic Park Renaissance the last month or so with the release of Jurassic World Dominion coming out. Um, so I kind of went crazy on Jurassic Park pops. Um, I have, there's one that's supposed to be arriving today but I'm not gonna be here when it's supposed to arrive. Um, but it's the Ellie and uh, the Triceratops Target exclusive. Um, and, you know, I have the John Hammond and the, uh, with the Jurassic Park Gates, which is really cool. Um, but he's packed up, I, I just didn't wanna get him out, but I have these here. So the first, the first one I wanna show you guys is the Diamond Edition Target exclusive of the Mr. DNA Funko Pop. Um, so he's all sparkly and see-through. And this is the Mr. DNA that's in um, Jurassic Park, the the OG movie where John Hammond uh, has this little video explaining how they uh, were able to obtain the dinosaur DNA and it's narrated by uh, Mr. DNA. So uh, I was really excited to get this because I'm, I'm a nerd, I love science and just the fact that this is connected to one of my favorite movies of all time and it's also like DNA is really cool to me. So uh, I, this was a must buy. Um, and in that same vein, um, one of my favorite dinosaurs from the Jurassic Park franchise is the Dilophosaurus. Um, and so I finally decided to pick him up. He's so cool. Um, there's a couple of different versions of this pop, I believe um, he also came, there's a set with him and Dennis Nedry, um, which would have been really cool. And, he, uh, the, it came in this protective case, so I'm leaving it in there just because it's here, so why not? Um, but you see that he has his, um, frills out, and he looks pretty scary. Or she, I should say, um, because all the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park are female. Um, so yeah, she looks really cool. Um, and she makes a special appearance in, um... Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, by the way, don't listen to the critics. It's a great film. I absolutely loved it. Um, and the Dilophosaurus was a really cool addition to that film. So, um, let's see, where do I wanna go now? Let me try and sort this real quick. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So before I, I get into the Jurassic World Funkos, I just wanted to finish off the Jurassic Park Funko real quick. And my favorite dinosaur of all time within recent years after like reading and stuff about dinosaurs, um, and it's so cliche, but it's such a fascinating dinosaur. And it's, um, and it's, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. When it, every time they update something new about the dinosaur, it's a really fascinating read. And so I had to get Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> so Rexy, had to be added to my collection. Um, and this is the Jurassic Park um, Funko of a t of the T-Rex. Um, Jurassic World Dominion has um, new T-Rex pops, but I wanted it Jurassic Park branded um, just cause I'm weird like that, I don't know. But she looks amazing, so awesome. And this one has a pretty, hefty weight to it. I think it's cause uh, she has kind of a really large head, but she looks amazing. I love this. I want the 10 inch um, uh, Funko of the T-Rex that I believe is a Walmart exclusive. Um, and it just released along with Giganotosaurus, which um, while we're at it, uh, look, we're gonna switch over to a Jurassic World Funkos and we'll talk about Giganotosaurus. <laughs> so this is my uh, first introduction to the Giganotosaurus, uh, which is a uh, apex predator, um, similar to a T-Rex, but it's larger. Uh, and this is the big bad of Jurassic World Dominion. And she looks amazing. She looks scary, 
that dinosaur is actually really scary in the in the film. Um, but yeah, I love the sculpt of it. I love the yellow eyes. She just looks phenomenal. Um, so yeah, that's her. Uh, and then she also has a 10 inch Funko, which I don't mind owning, but it's not like top priority for me. Okay, so now, oh, hang on. I forgot I have two other dinosaurs, excuse me. So this has become a very interesting dinosaur for me. I do have another toy. I probably should have grabbed those, but I'll post them on my Instagram and y'all can see my d new dino toys. <laughs> but uh, I decided to get the Therizinosaurus Funko as well, um, because it has these really long claws. Uh, and this actually made a really scary impression on me in Dominion. Um, it reminds me very much of like Freddy Krueger <laughs> because of the claws. But um, they did a really good job with the atmosphere anytime the Therizinosaurus was in the scene. Uh, I want to learn more about this uh, this creature. Um, so I hope to do that here before too long. Uh, I have some new dinosaur books I would love to read. Um, and hopefully I can, that would be a nice introduction before I can like dive into specifics on specific dinosaurs. So I love the paint job on the Therizinosaurus. This is not what it looks like in the movie. Um, they really took some liberties with the with the paint, but I don't care. It looks amazing. And then we have the uh, Atrociraptor Ghost. Um, so this is the ghost one. Uh, there's three different versions of the Atrociraptor. Um, and their scene in the film is really awesome as well. Um, you can see it's kind of like an albino type color scheme with slim like red eyes. It's really cool. And here's, let me go ahead and just show you guys. Here's what all the different pops you can get. I don't have them all. Like I don't have um, blue, I don't have beta. Um, I just didn't want, I don't know, I, I like blue but I kind of have a hard time with the whole trained raptor aspect of the Jurassic World franchise. Um, so like, I love Blue, I think she's amazing, but I don't, I'm not like wanting her merch. So, uh, okay, so I have three characters from Jurassic World Dominion. Um, I, I just think that since it is the last movie of the Jurassic franchise, um, I wanted to go ahead and get both Claire and Owen Funkos, because I think they're really cool characters. I really enjoy them in this uh, in this series, and I just knew this was gonna be my last chance to get them like for retail retail. So I went ahead and got them both. They look really cool. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, there's not much to say. They're kind of boring, but like I like I love her because she's like a badass and she's a female scientist. I think she's. Was she a geneticist? Was that her job? I wanna say she works in genetics, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so there is Bryce Dallas Howard's likeness as Claire. And then we have Chris Pratt's likeness for Owen Grady. Um, they didn't actually make a giant impression on me in Dominion, honestly, but I don't care, it's fine. And then actually my favorite character from the Jurassic Park franchise is Dr. Ellie Settler. So I don't have the OG one. Um, that's why I went ahead and got the uh, Ellie and Triceratops set is because I didn't own one. But then when I saw that they were um, coming out with her for Dominion, I just knew I had to get her. So here's what she looks like. Um, like I, she's not like in her like iconic look or anything just because she does wear a variation of her iconic outfit from Jurassic Park, but it's not entirely the same. So um, I do need Dr. Malcolm and I do need Dr. Grant uh, to, you know, finish out my uh, people for the Jurassic franchise. And then I thought this was cool. I haven't opened these yet. I've had these in this box for like a month, but I have these two Funko blind boxes. So I thought it'd be cool to go ahead and just open them <laughs> for you guys. Um, so I don't know who I want. Like I'm not really that picky about this particular one. Like I I prefer to have the dinosaurs, but we'll see. I don't know what this 
I don't know who. Okay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> here's the Dr. Malcolm from his iconic pose. Uh, but this is the older Malcolm from Dominion. Bless. Oh my God. That's so funny. Okay. Now I kind of hope this is a dinosaur. Um, cause I, I love the human characters, but let's be honest. We watched Jurassic Park for the dinosaurs. So, and this is actually the end of my Funko section of this video. And then, uh, I'll quickly go through the dolls cause we're already at 15 minutes. So, um, so let me quickly open this up. We got a dino, but who, what is it? Oh my God, it's a Brachiosaurus. Okay, this is, re I'm really happy. <laughs> I love the Brachiosaurus. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. Oh, love. Oh my gosh, look at this. I yeah, this is the Brachiosaurus, yeah. Oh my God, so cute. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna be moving out soon and I'm gonna have a dedicated area for an office and since I do have a science background, I want it to be as sciencey as possible. So that's why I've been stocking up all, all this dinosaur stuff. And this is gonna look so cute in that room. So here's what they look like. Oh, I'm so happy about the Brachiosaurus. Okay, so I'm gonna throw these Funko Pops back in here. So while I'm doing that, let me know below out of my Funkos, which one's your favorite? I know most of everyone's probably gonna say Ariel. I mean, some of you might say Pocahontas, I don't know. I have a very mixed bag of who follows <laughs> my pages, so. Okay, so we're almost done here. Okay, so dolls have been a very interesting journey for me the last couple months. Um, because now don't hold me to this. I would like to think that after the next month or so, I'm probably gonna be done with the limited edition dolls. Now, with that being said, I reserve the right to buy something that I love regardless. So like I was done with the, uh, the uh, Ultimate Princess Collection doll, but then Snow White released and I loved her. So I bought her. <laughs> and so um, I just wanna reserve the right, and Meg, Meg's coming out soon. Um, she will probably be my last 17 inch doll because after her, I'll have one of each of my favorite Disney characters. Well, princess wise or female wise. Um, so that's really exciting and something I'm extremely happy and proud of. So we'll see in the future, maybe if they decide to make Anastasia or if they make another Pocahontas, I will definitely be buying those. But until then, I'm probably done with 17 inch after Meg. Meg is a must have. Um, so yeah, let me go through the dolls. I don't have as many dolls. Well, no, I have a lot here, but I'm not gonna spend a ton of time. So we'll get my, they're really dusty. I live in West Texas, so it's really hard to keep everything dust free. So um, first of all, uh, I wanna show you guys Aurora, the Aurora Ultimate Princess Collection doll. So here's her. I really like her. I think she's really pretty. As you all know, uh, Aurora is one of my favorite Disney princesses. Um, I actually didn't like this, the, how stiff her dress looked because of the wire. So I went ahead and like made it look a little bit more flowy. So I like the way it displayed more. Um, there's other reviews out there of people who've talked about her. Um, I don't really have a lot to say. I just know I really like her. Um, so yeah, she's really pretty. I like her color scheme. They really did the blue to pink um, theme very well. And I love the background. So yeah, so that's Aurora. Love her a lot. Very excited to add her to my Sleeping Beauty collection. 
And then one I was really surprised by um, and fell in love with was, let me grab her. Once again, she's really dusty. So pardon me, is Tiana. So I've really only come to really love Tiana over the last couple of years. Um, Cause I didn't originally see uh, Princess and the Frog when it came out, but I really come to really love her. I think she's a fantastic princess. And this doll is just, it serves everything. Like look how gorgeous she looks. She looks like a 20s flapper goddess. <laughs> She is stunning. I love the like hour shape words, hour shape glass figure of her uh, dress. I love her cape. I love her voluminous hair. I just she's just stunning. Love everything about her. So yeah, I love the colors. It's not typical Tiana, which is amazing. Um, so the designer did a really great job with her. Uh, so I had to have her. And then, let's see. Okay, so I am not a giant fan of Rainbow High. I've become like more accustomed to uh, their aesthetic over time. Um, and like the newer releases, like was this Wave 3 that just released has really caught my attention. I think those Rainbow High dolls are, they're stunning. Don't have any of them. I want a couple, but I don't have them yet. But I do have um, except these special edition dolls. I do have the entirety of a wave one of Shadow High. So um, they're all still in their box. They will be unboxed at some point. These are ones I do want to display because I just think they look much better out of the box. Um, but I don't have any space to do that. So, uh, and I actually watched, I was introduced to them through the show on YouTube. And I loved that first episode so much. I thought they were very interesting characters and I actually was like genuinely invested in them. So uh, that's why I went ahead and got wave one of Shadow High. And oh my God, these dolls are beautiful. They're so amazing. They're in grayscale. Uh, you know what they are. So I'm just gonna shut up and show you. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on these just cause I do have all of them and I do have other dolls I need to show you guys. But um, I'm showing you guys in no particular order. Um, so we have Natasha here. Stunning. She's like the snowflake <laughs> of the group. She's just, uh, she's so beautiful. I love her second outfit. I love how pale she is. It's just, they did a really nice job with her colors here. Um, and here's what they all look like on the back. They look incredible as a group. So we have Natasha here, stunning. And then right here we have Ash. He was really cool. Not a lot to say about him. I like his second outfit. I love his shoes. He looks really cool. He has AirPods in, which is awesome. So here is Ash. And then my personal favorite of the collection is Chanel Onyx. Look at this queen. She is beautiful. Ah, oh, she's just gorgeous. That hair is everything. Like she has those painted baby hairs. Oh, so gorgeous. Love her dress. She serves in the show. So I thought she was amazing. I love her so much. Uh, I cannot wait to unbox this one. Um, so here's Chanel. And then we have, I'm gonna have to scoot up a little bit. And then we have Heather, who is really awesome too. I love, like the Cruella vibes that she gives off. Like her Sega outfit's really cool. Her shoes are cool. And then she has, you know, the two-toned body color, <laughs> hair color, everything. Um, and I love all their eyes have like a hint of color in them. So that's really cool. So I love this doll. And then um, my second favorite of the collection is Luna Madison. She just reminds me of like a space alien. <laughs> like I love the metallic colors on her. Her hair is amazing. I love the two buttons. Like she is stunning. Sorry about the ring light guys. Like I said, this is 
what you have to deal with when you're an inbox collector. But yeah, she is amazing. I love her second outfit. So yeah, here is Luna. And then last but not least, we have here, Nicole, and she is really cool too. I love her hair. It has those bouncy um, dog ears. Is that what they're called? Yeah, dog ears. She's the sporty one of the group. So she has like more like stylishly tomboy aesthetic going on, which I don't mind. I think she looks really cool. So yeah, that is... Nicole, and this concludes my Shadow High collection right now. I want the twin set so bad. I want Ainsley so bad. I actually saw Ainsley in person a couple weeks ago. She was amazing. But I prioritized some other things and don't have them yet. But I do want them at some point. And then I got a couple of vintage Barbies because I am wanting to slowly grow a Barbie collection. Um, so this one was one I've been wanting forever, and it is Jewel Hair Mermaid Barbie. Her crown fell off, which is annoying, so it's down there somewhere. Um, but look at this doll. This is the 90s superstar sculpt, and the long hair. I love how, I love the colors. I just love everything about it. I love mermaids, so this was Love, 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 love. Um, and I'm keeping her in box, of course. Um, and here's the others on the back. Uh, is This is just a stunning set and probably one of my favorite vintage Barbies of all time. Um, I do want more, like I've said, and I'm really excited about the Barbie movie coming out next year starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling because if you haven't seen the new pictures that have come out, it just looks incredible. So we have this. Uh, and for now, and then, uh, let's see, I'm going to put Barbie there. And then, um, these were graduation presents to myself. Um, I got my master's in geography. And so I wanted to get two science based Barbies. I can put in my science section in, of my office. And this was a really cool one that I, I saw in this paleontologist Barbie. Like she comes with like gold dinosaurs. She comes with like tools, like a water canteen. Her outfit's super cute. She's just really cool. I love this so much. Here's the back of it. And it has like a, a dinosaur fossil. Like do you tell that this came out because of around the time of Jurassic Park, I think. Um, I don't wanna move it around too much, but uh, I don't know. So I'm gonna assume this came out in the early 90s. So um, stunning, love this doll so much. And in that same vein, let me put that one down. Uh, this is another science-based Barbie and this is astronaut Barbie. Um, I know there's been a ton of astronaut Barbies over the years, but this is like one of the first ones. And I just really love how detailed everything is. Um, like her space helmet is like an actual replica of a NASA space helmet, which is really cool to me. Um, here's like the back with a stock image of her. Um, so I'm really excited to, you know, display this um, in my science office. And I believe, like if I'm not mistaken, I think they had NASA like um, a collaborate on this. So that makes it even cooler to me. Okay, so this next doll I got in yesterday um, was a commemoration of me going through the MCU for the first time ever. Um, I put it off for about 15 years and I watch, I'm up to date now for the most part. I haven't seen some of the Disney Plus shows, but I'm caught up up until um, uh, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Um, and we have Thor coming out in a couple of weeks, um, which I'm really excited about. Thor has become one of my favorite superheroes of all time. I love him so much. So if you can't guess what doll I'm about to hold up, and I'm so happy with this. Like, I'm obsessed with her. I bought the 
Mighty Thor doll from the from Shop Disney. Look at her. Oh my god. Oh, she's so incredible. So I like I just said, I'm a giant Thor fan now. Like I'm converted. I think his movies are amazing. Ragnarok was just everything. And I'm really excited. Like the previews for Love and Thunder have just been blowing my mind. They look incredible. And I've pre-ordered Funko Pops. You know, I'm all ready to go on the Thor and Love and Thunder train. So I will probably end up having a Thor collection. Um, it's already started. And this is the first piece ever of like MCU merch that I own. And I'm really happy with her. Like the details are amazing. And she looks incredible in the box. Like since I'm an inbox collector, this just really, really did it for me. I love this doll so much. There's a lot of pictures out there of people who, excuse me, have unboxed her and she looks amazing. And now we are down to the last doll. And this one's actually very, very special. So this was like my main graduation present to myself. Let's face it, this entire video has pretty much been a graduation present. But well, I've been, I wanted this doll for years and I finally just did it. I just bought it and I don't regret it one bit. It is the film premiere Little Mermaid doll, which released in 1997. So I have Feathers in the Wind Pocahontas, um, which is in a very similar collection to this doll. And like, that's one of my favorite dolls of all time. And this doll is gorgeous. Hello, we're just gonna come through here. <laughs> so yeah, look at all those details. Like you open it up and there's a little scene of Ariel and Flounder. And look how elegant Ariel looks here. Like she is amazing. Her hair is in this beautiful swept up bun and there's charms and her fin is like her dress, which I thought was a very interesting choice, but I'm not mad at, mad at it. I think it's really pretty. There's a lot of pearl and fish sequins and she has this giant collar that's supposed to look like her fin. She's just amazing. And I'm really excited to have her in my Little Mermaid collection. Ariel dolls are just everything. I love her so much. Okay, so we're at 32 minutes. I think I did pretty well considering how much I had to go through. So yes, that is everything. Follow me on my Instagram, talk to me there. Comment below what my what your favorite piece of my updated collection is. I'm very curious to know. And I hope to uh, talk to you guys soon. Um, I will be talking to you guys soon. Once Snow White arrives, I will definitely be doing a review on her just because I think she's really amazing. So, okay, I'm going to wrap it up. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.